Good morning, my word nerds! Hello, 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 and welcome to the Thursday. Oh my goodness, it's Thursday already? Woof, this week is just whizzing by me. Good morning, it's Thursday. My name is Christine. I am a member of the Perry Girls. And each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound sparkles. Hello, Deborah. Hi, John. Thanks for being here, you guys. So today is Thursday, so we are sharing our word of the day with the Heart Tribes. So we want to thank the Heart Tribe sponsorship, and we want to thank them for providing today's word. Uh, makes it a little easier on me, because that way I only have to come up with five words a week instead of seven. Because we do them on the weekends. For the Perry Girls, I just don't, I don't typically scoop on the weekends, because that's kind of my day off. Just saying. But anyway... Today's word of the day for the Heart Tribes and for the Perry Girls and for you, my beloved word nerds, is quiescent. Quiescent is today's word of the day. Now, this is one word that I'm sure you have seen and you have mispronounced. It is pronounced quiescent. Let's spell it. Q-U-I-E-S-C-E-N-T. So it looks like quiescent but it's quiescent, it's pronounced quiescent. Again, Q-U-I-E-S-C-E-N-T, nine letters there, okay? It look, it, it, phonetically, it's K-W-E-E, -E. when it's the, K, the Q -U -I -E, K -W -E -E. If you just swap those out in your head, quiescent, right? That's the easiest way to pronounce that. So what does quiescent mean? Quiescent means being at rest, quiet, still, inactive, motionless. I am not quiescent. <laughs> I am very rarely quiescent. Maybe when I'm sleeping. Maybe. Mm, even then, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm not a very quiescent person. It's just not in my nature to sit still. I am a tigger. I gotta bounce. I got to be doing things. If I'm sitting at a desk just working, like as I was reading that definition for you guys, you can't see it, but underneath my desk, my leg is going like this. I have a bounce in my leg. I put my foot up on the balls of my toes and my whole leg just bounces, right? My knee, my thigh, everything just kind of bounces up and down on the chair or the bench or whatever it is that I'm sitting on. It's a, it, I don't even know that I'm doing it half of the time. But I am constantly in motion. It's just who I am. It's how I'm wired. It's how I was programmed by the, the powers that be. So quiescent is something that I think is important for us all to focus on finding every once in a while. That, that quiescent moment that drove my dad nuts. Yeah, it's actually a genetic thing. I found out I got it from my great-grandfather. So he did the same thing. So thanks, Grandpa Tom. Um, but yeah, quiescent. So there is a place that I go every year, the first weekend of August. And um, if you guys were watching me last year, you already know about this. Um, this year, it'll be new for a lot of my word nerds. But I go to a place in Northern California that is off the map. Um, yes, you can find it on Google Maps, but if you don't know what you're looking for, you're not going to find it. Um, it's, it's family property. Again, my great grandpa Tom, um, <clears throat> have not seen your family do it. Really? Oh, well, maybe it's not hereditary. I was told it was hereditary and then I got it from my grandpa Tom. Maybe it's just something that my grandpa Tom did and I happened to do too. I don't know. Um, but when I go to this, this property that my great grandfather found and bought and, and created for the family, Hey, play equal space. Um, I I can be I can go there and I can be quiescent. That is my quiescent location. So if it takes you going somewhere, getting away from the daily hustle and bustle, getting away from the normalities of your life, and just unplugging in order to be quiescent, then that's what you got to do. So, you no, know, no, you're not crazy, John. If anyone's crazy. Mama Panda's in the house. Whoop, whoop. Hello, darling. So again, quiescent is the word of the day. Q-U-I-S, sorry, Q-U-I-E-S-C-E-N-T. Quiescent. 
And it doesn't look like it sounds. It looks like quiescent, but it's qui, quiescent. So just take the, oh, thank you. Go ahead and take the Q-U-I-E and turn it into K-W-E-E, quiescent, okay? And again, being at rest, quiet, still, inactive, motionless. Something that I'm not when I got on Periscope is quiescent. But I know a place where I can go. It's a few hour drive, but I can go there. I can unplug, I can unwind, and I can sit, and I can just be. And I can just let that location, that, that place, and the whole spirit of that place just become part of who I am. And I can just be still. Now it says in the, bi- in the, in the Bible, be still and know that I'm here. Right? Be still and know I'm here. Quiescent is a big part of that. So if you are religious and if you read the Bible or if you read some other book, and I'm sure somewhere in that book too there's something about stillness, just taking a moment to just be and let the universe or the powers that be or the the karma or you know what whatever energy it is that you believe in whatever your faith derives from right that you need to find some moments in your world where you can just find that quiescent moment and just be whether you're just being you or you're just being a meadow, or you're just being a cloud floating through the sky, or you're just being your faith personified. Quiescent. Exactly. Q-U-I-E-S-C-E-N-T. Spelled it perfectly, but it's pronounced quiescent. All right? So, find that quiet moment. Quiescent moment. Right? And just don't move. Don't talk. Don't wiggle. Don't bounce your knee like crazy Christine does. Just be quiescent. I think if each of us takes 30 seconds every single day to just find that quiescent moment in our day, in our world, in our life, I think we'd all find a little stronger inner peace. I think we'd all be a little bit more mellow. I think there would be fewer people who have decided that it's more important to get in front of you on the freeway than to just go every other car or lay off the horn when you don't accelerate as soon as the light turns green. You know what I mean? So I think we all need to find a little bit more quiescent moments in our world. So anyway, there's your word of the day, quiescent. Q-U-I-E-S-C-E-N-T, quiescent meaning still, inactive, motionless. Quiescent is your word of the day. Use it, don't abuse it. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Know that I love you all. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for the fabulous Friday edition of Word of the Day. So until then, oh, good morning, John. I'm just wrapping up, so make sure you catch the replay, okay? So until tomorrow, you guys, bye now.